Hello, friends. The Earth is a dynamic and constantly moving entity in the vastness of space. Understanding its motion involves grasping several key concepts, including rotation, orbit, gravitational influences, the interstellar medium, and the tools and instruments used by astronomers to study these phenomena. The Earth rotates on its axis, an imaginary line that runs from the North Pole to the South Pole. This rotation is responsible for the cycle of day and night. One full rotation takes approximately 24 hours, which is why we experience one day within this time period. The speed at which the Earth rotates is astounding. At the equator, the Earth's surface moves at about 1,670 kilometers per hour, 1,037 miles per hour. This rotational speed decreases as you move towards the poles. In addition to rotating on its axis, the Earth also orbits the Sun. This orbit is not a perfect circle, but rather an elliptical shape, meaning the distance between the Earth and the Sun changes throughout the year. The closest point to the Sun, known as perihelion, occurs around January 3rd, while the farthest point, called aphelion, occurs around July 4th. This elliptical orbit is the reason we have seasons. As the Earth travels along its orbital path, different parts of the planet receive varying amounts of sunlight, resulting in the changing seasons. The Earth's journey through space doesn't stop at its orbit around the Sun. Our entire solar system is also moving through the Milky Way galaxy. The solar system orbits the center of the Milky Way taking approximately 230 million years to complete one full orbit. This galactic motion means that the Earth is constantly traveling through different regions of space, encountering varying gravitational influences from other stars and cosmic objects. Gravity is the force of attraction between objects that have mass. In other words, any two objects with mass will pull on each other with a force called gravity. The more massive an object is, the stronger its gravitational pull. Gravity is what keeps us grounded on Earth and what causes objects to fall when we drop them. Gravity works according to a law formulated by Sir Isaac Newton in the 17th century, known as the Law of Universal Gravitation. This law states that every object in the universe attracts every other object with a force that is proportional to the product of their masses and inversely proportional to the square of the distance between them. Gravity is responsible for the orbits of planets around stars, moons around planets, and even the paths of comets and asteroids. The Sun, being much more massive than the Earth, exerts a strong gravitational pull on our planet. This pull keeps the Earth in a stable orbit around the Sun. If there were no gravity, the Earth would fly off into space in a straight line. However, because of the Sun's gravity, the Earth is constantly being pulled toward the Sun. This creates a balance between the Earth's tendency to move in a straight line and the Sun's pull, resulting in a curved path or orbit around the Sun. Another fascinating aspect of Earth's motion is its axial tilt. The Earth's axis is tilted at an angle of about 23.5 degrees relative to its orbital plane around the Sun. This tilt is responsible for the seasonal changes we experience. When the Northern Hemisphere is tilted towards the Sun, it experiences summer, while the Southern Hemisphere experiences winter, and vice versa. This axial tilt, combined with the elliptical orbit, creates the complex and varied climate patterns we observe on Earth. The Earth's gravity also affects the Moon. The Moon is kept in orbit around the Earth by the Earth's gravitational pull. At the same time, the Moon's gravity affects the Earth, causing the tides in our oceans. The gravitational interaction between the Earth and the Moon leads to the rise and fall of sea levels, known as high and low tides. The Moon's gravity exerts a pull on the Earth's oceans, creating high and low tides. This gravitational relationship also affects the Earth's rotation, gradually slowing it down over time. 
The concept of precession is another important aspect of Earth's motion. Precession refers to the gradual wobble in the Earth's rotational axis. This wobble is caused by the gravitational forces exerted by the Sun and the Moon on the Earth's equatorial bulge. One complete cycle of precession takes about 26,000 years. This means that the position of the Earth's axis changes over long periods, affecting the orientation of the seasons and the positions of the stars in the sky. On a larger scale, gravity is responsible for the structure and dynamics of galaxies. The Milky Way, our home galaxy, is held together by the gravitational forces between its stars, gas, and dark matter. The gravitational pull of the galactic center, which is believed to contain a supermassive black hole, influences the orbits of stars and other celestial bodies within the galaxy. The spiral arms of the Milky Way are regions of higher star density, where gravity has caused clouds of gas and dust to collapse and form new stars. The Earth's motion through space is not only influenced by gravitational forces, but also by the forces generated by its own internal dynamics. The movement of molten rock within the Earth's mantle, known as mantle convection, drives the movement of tectonic plates on the Earth's surface. These tectonic movements cause earthquakes, volcanic eruptions, and the formation of mountain ranges. The constant reshaping of the Earth's surface is a testament to its dynamic nature. In addition to the Earth's internal dynamics, external forces such as the gravitational influence of other planets also affect its motion. The gravitational pull of Jupiter, the largest planet in our solar system, has a significant impact on the Earth's orbit. This gravitational interaction can cause slight changes in the Earth's orbital path over long periods. Understanding these interactions is crucial for predicting the long-term stability of the Earth's orbit and the potential for changes in its climate. Jupiter, being the most massive planet in the solar system, has a considerable gravitational influence. Its gravity can cause perturbations in the Earth's orbit, leading to slight changes in the shape and orientation of the orbit over long periods. These perturbations can affect the Earth's climate by altering the amount of solar radiation the planet receives. For example, changes in the Earth's orbital eccentricity, or the degree to which the orbit deviates from a perfect circle, can influence the severity and frequency of ice ages. Saturn's gravitational pull, while not as strong as Jupiter's, also contributes to the perturbations in Earth's orbit. The combined gravitational influences of Jupiter and Saturn create complex gravitational interactions that can lead to long-term changes in the Earth's orbital parameters. These changes occur over tens of thousands to millions of years and are part of what scientists study to understand Earth's long-term climate patterns and the potential for future climate shifts. Mars and Venus, being the closest planetary neighbors to Earth, also exert gravitational influences. Mars, with its relatively small mass, has a minor impact compared to Jupiter and Saturn. However, the gravitational interactions between Earth and Mars can lead to periodic changes in the orbits of both planets, known as orbital resonances. These resonances can result in regular cycles of gravitational pull that affect the stability and dynamics of the Earth's orbit. Venus, being closer to the Earth than Mars, has a more significant gravitational influence. The gravitational interaction between Earth and Venus can lead to gravitational perturbations that affect the Earth's orbit. For example, when Venus and Earth come into close alignment during their orbits around the Sun, their gravitational interactions can cause slight changes in the Earth's orbital eccentricity and axial tilt. These changes can, in turn, influence the Earth's climate and weather patterns over long periods. The Earth's magnetic field is another fascinating aspect of its movement through space. Generated by the motion of molten iron in the Earth's outer core, the magnetic field protects our planet from harmful solar radiation. 
This magnetic shield is crucial for sustaining life on Earth, as it deflects charged particles from the sun, preventing them from stripping away the atmosphere. The magnetic field also influences the behavior of charged particles in space, creating phenomena such as the auroras, which are visible near the polar regions. As the Earth moves through space, it also interacts with various cosmic phenomena, such as meteoroids, comets, and asteroids. These interactions can have significant impacts on the Earth's environment. For example, the impact of a large asteroid is believed to have caused the extinction of the dinosaurs around 65 million years ago. Studying these interactions helps scientists understand the potential threats to our planet and develop strategies to mitigate them. The interstellar medium, ISM, is the matter that fills the space between stars in a galaxy. It is composed of gas, dust, and cosmic rays. The ISM is essential for the life cycle of stars, as it is the material from which new stars are born and into which old stars release their remnants. The ISM is not empty. Instead, it contains a mix of gas, dust, and cosmic rays. The majority of the ISM is made up of gas, about 99%. This gas is primarily hydrogen with smaller amounts of helium and trace amounts of heavier elements like carbon, nitrogen, and oxygen. The solar system moves through the ISM as it orbits the center of the Milky Way galaxy. This movement affects the solar system in several ways. Astronomers use a variety of tools and instruments to study the Earth's movement and the broader universe. Telescopes, both ground-based and space-based, allow us to observe distant celestial objects and phenomena. Optical telescopes use lenses or mirrors to gather and focus visible light, helping astronomers observe stars, planets, and other celestial objects in the night sky. Radio telescopes detect radio waves emitted by celestial objects, allowing the study of objects not visible with optical telescopes. Space telescopes, placed in space to avoid atmospheric distortion, can observe a wide range of wavelengths, including ultraviolet, infrared, and X-rays. Satellites are instruments that orbit the Earth and collect data from space. Earth observation satellites monitor various aspects of the Earth's environment, such as weather patterns, climate changes, and natural disasters. Navigation satellites provide positioning and timing information essential for navigation. Space science satellites are designed to study specific scientific phenomena. Space probes are unmanned spacecraft that travel beyond Earth's orbit to study other celestial bodies and gather data about the solar system. The Earth's motion through space is a complex and multifaceted process, governed by a combination of gravitational forces internal dynamics, and interactions with other celestial bodies. From its rotation on its axis, to its orbit around the Sun, and its journey through the Milky Way galaxy, the Earth's motion is a testament to the intricate dance of celestial mechanics. Understanding these processes not only deepens our appreciation for the natural world, but also helps us navigate the challenges of living on a dynamic and ever-changing planet. By exploring these concepts in detail, we can gain a better understanding of how the Earth moves through space and the factors that influence its path. This knowledge is crucial for addressing global challenges such as climate change, natural disasters, and the protection of our planet from potential cosmic threats. As we continue to study and explore the cosmos, we uncover new insights into the fundamental processes that govern the movement of our planet and the universe as a whole. Understanding the Earth's motion is not only a scientific endeavor, but also a philosophical one. It raises profound questions about our place in the universe and the forces that shape our existence. By delving into the intricacies of the Earth's movement, we gain a deeper appreciation for the beauty and complexity of the cosmos. This exploration inspires a sense of wonder and curiosity, 
driving us to continue our quest for knowledge and discovery. The Earth's journey through space is a remarkable story that has been unfolding for billions of years. From the formation of the solar system to the present day, our planet's movement has been shaped by a myriad of forces and interactions. By studying this journey, we not only learn about the past, but also gain insights into the future. This knowledge is essential for ensuring the sustainability and well-being of our planet and its inhabitants. The Earth's movement through space is a fascinating and complex phenomenon that encompasses a wide range of scientific principles and natural processes. By exploring these concepts in detail, we can gain a better understanding of the forces that shape our planet and the universe. This knowledge is crucial for addressing global challenges and ensuring the sustainability of our planet for future generations. So, let's continue to explore, learn and appreciate the incredible journey of the Earth through space. Thank you for joining us on this journey through space. Please like, comment and share the video and please do not forget to subscribe for more videos.